option to upload or manually add all fuel purchases to the app or have it automatically uploaded via the EFS fuel card. Our updated fuel summary feature also shows a comprehensive summary of all fuel calculations. Together with IFTA reporting, fleet managers will have more insight into fuel expenses. On the sidebar on the left, navigate to Fuel. With the EFS integration and the possibility of importing fuel purchases made with the EFS card, the Fuel folder will be expanded with a Fuel Summary view. The Fuel folder consists of two tabs, Fuel Summary and Fuel Purchases. The Fuel Summary tab is a statistical hub offering advanced fuel calculations. With this, users get all important statistical parameters for fuel management in a single tab. The Fuel Summary view consists of five windows. Performance changes. It shows the changes compared to the previous interval based on the following principle. You can, for instance, choose last seven days as the date filter, and the value should be compared with the previous interval with the same time duration, i.e. seven days before the selected date. Purchases Timeline. Once you hover over the dot on the timeline, each will show data based on the three mentioned parameters. Most purchases by state. Shows the top 10 states where the most fuel was purchased. And the last two are top five vehicles and drivers by purchased fuel. Each of these can be sorted by total cost, volume, and cost per gallon. The fuel purchases view consists of all verified purchases. Each purchase is filtered by date and time state, vehicle ID, driver, type, volume, cost, vendor, documents, and source. Right below the Fuel Summary and Fuel Purchases buttons, you will see the total fuel spent and total cost. The user can upload the files in the following ways. 1. Import file. The user is allowed to upload files in CSV, PDF, and XSXL format. 2. Manual input, done by the fleet manager. 3. Driver through the mobile app. 4. EFS. To see a list of all pending purchases, go to the Pending Purchases tab, where all EFS purchases are automatically transferred. The next step is for all EFS purchases to go through the validation system. They will be subject to the following four parameters being checked. 1. Purchase Location The EFS purchase location has to match the ELD location. 2. The Vehicle ID The EFS ID has to match the database of the registered vehicles. 3. The Driver Name EFS name has to match the driver name from the database of the registered vehicles. 4. Duplicate Input If there is already the same purchase. If there are some inconsistencies, the data will be shown in red under the errors. Once this is all verified, the record will be shown in the Fuel Purchases table.